Hey everyone, we're going to take a look at using modal dialogs in a native script Angular application. So if you're unfamiliar with modal dialogs, these are like the pop-ups that contain pretty much a full page of an application. Um, they're much more in-depth and thorough than what you would see in just a standard prompt dialog or alert dialog. You can do a whole lot to them. So you can pass data to them and you can even receive data from them. So let's go ahead and start by creating a fresh project on our desktop. We're going to go ahead and say TNS create modal project hyphen hyphen ng. And that's going to create an Angular with TypeScript project. With the project created, let's go ahead and navigate into it and add our build platform. So I'm going to say TNS platform add iOS and TNS platform add Android. So most of what we do is going to use the basic native script template, but we are going to create a new page and this page is going to represent our model, but we're not going to navigate it into the same sense that we would the Angular router. So let's go ahead and add the following. So we're going to say touch app slash app.modal.ts and then likewise with HTML. And you could have easily done that by hand. Uh, so if I open up my uh, finder here, I've just basically gone into app and added the two files. So app.modal and app.modal.html. So you can create those two files however you want. So those files created, let's go ahead and open up our project in our editor of choice. It could be whatever you want. All right, so to start things off, we're gonna start by creating our actual modal. So let's go ahead and go into our TypeScript file. So it's app and then app.modal.ts. And we're gonna add the following. So we do have the foundation to this modal file created. We've imported a special modal uh, directives component from NativeScript. This will allow us to use it with our HTML. Um, and I do have my modal class created. So what we want to do now is we want to add, uh, so this modal is going to be very simple. We're just going to display a list of options to choose. So let's say public frameworks. This is going to be our, our list. It's just going to be an array of strings. We're going to say public constructor. We're going to inject the modal dialog params. And we're going to initialize that array. So it's going to be uh, static. So we do have an array of strings. This is going to be what's populating our modal. We also want to have one more method. So we want to say public close. Uh, the response is going to be a string. And we're going to say this.params.close callback and then response. So what we're doing here is when our modal is closed, we're going to pass whatever this response variable is back to the parent page. So whatever initiated this modal. So our modal TypeScript uh, code is out of the way. Let's go ahead and create our modal HTML code. So we're going to create a basic grid layout. and we're going to have a list view inside of it. This list view is going to use the public frameworks variable. And each row is going to be a stack layout of that particular framework. So let's take a look.
So when we click on any item in our list, what we're gonna do is we're gonna say close and then framework. So it's gonna be it's gonna be that string that we click, whatever whatever framework array index this is. Perfect, so we do have our UI for our modal now created. Again, it's just a basic list that'll pop up and when clicked, that item that was clicked will be returned back to the parent page. So now we can actually inject this modal so that way it's a part of our application so it's not orphaned, an orphan file. So what we wanna do is we wanna go to app.module.ts and we wanna add some imports. We want to add the modal dialog service. And what we want to do is we want to add it to our ng module block. But first we need to, of course, import that modal that we created. So it's app.modal, remember that TypeScript file that we created. And we're gonna to go to our declarations. We're gonna add app, well it's called modal component I believe. We also wanna add it to our entry components. So uh, in, a, in the normal situation where you're using the router, it would just go into the declarations. But since this modal is actually used differently, it also needs to end up in the entry components. So now dropping down, we have our providers because remember we did import modal dialog service. It is a service, so it needs to be added to the providers list. So it's modal dialog service. So we're not quite done yet. We do need to create a, a basic UI and how to launch this modal. Um, this can be done in the app.component.ts and app.component.html files. So starting with the app.component.ts file. Let's go ahead and wipe out whatever's in the class already. We're going to add new code here. So we're going to say public constructor. And we're going to inject stuff to it. But before we can inject stuff to it, we need to import it. So we're importing the directives as well as that modal that we created. Now we can, uh, we also want to import the view reference for this particular view. And let's start injecting. All right, with those two items um, injected, now let's create our method that will actually launch our modal. We don't have to do anything with the constructor as of now. So modals do expect some options. It expects a context, which we're gonna leave blank. Uh, we would use this if we wanted to pass in some values. It's expecting whether or not it's going to be full screen or not. In this case, it is. And then we're passing in the view container reference. All right, with those options defined, we can say this dot modal dot show modal modal component 
not model component, modal component. We're going to pass in the options. And this is a promise. So the response. And in this case, we just want to print out the response to the logs. And the response being whatever we clicked. Now let's take a look at the HTML. The HTML is going to be very simple. Uh, let's go ahead and check it out here. We're going to add an action bar. And we're going to add a simple stack layout. This stack layout, since we only have one button on the screen, we're going to center it in, this, in the center of the screen. And let's add that button. When we tap it, it's going to execute that show modal function. And let's add a class to it. All right. So now let's go ahead and, and run this application and see, see what it actually does. So I'm going to go back to my terminal and I'm going to say TNS emulate iOS. All right, so our application did open. We have we have one button, which is as expected. We have an action bar. So if, when I click it, it actually loaded this modal, uh, which is a separate screen. Um, if I wanted to, I could have a close button elsewhere. But what we really want to do is we want to force the user to click on one of these items. In this case, I'm going to click on Xamarin. And if I look at my logs over here, it printed Xamarin to the logs because I had a console.log. Uh, to, pr to print the response um, after the modal was closed. So you just saw how to add these very basic um, modals to your application. They can do a whole lot. Um, there are use cases for them that in case you don't want to use the Angular router, uh, you have this as an option um, and it can really enhance your overall application experience, your user experience, and uh, just boost the overall usability of your application.